you're looking at buying an electric car, you've probably read some reviews, been on manufacturer websites, and seen the phrase regenerative braking. But what on earth is regenerative braking? Well, we are here to help you find out. This goes back to schoolroom physics. Braking creates friction, which creates heat and energy, and that can be used to charge up your battery and extend the car's range. This is what's known as regenerative braking, or some manufacturers also call it recuperation. You're simply using the car's brakes as tiny supplementary generators. Of course, it makes sense to capitalise on this free energy by increasing the friction in order to create as much energy as possible to top up the battery. The only problem is that this can make the car feel a bit unnatural to drive, as it brakes quite aggressively as soon as you lift off the throttle. What a lot of manufacturers have done is to install phased regenerative braking, so that you can choose how aggressive you want the braking force to be. Nissan has even gone so far as to introduce something called the e-pedal. Now, basically, this is regenerative braking that is so aggressive, you don't actually need to use the brake at all around town. You can literally drive the car entirely on the throttle. Of course, that takes some getting used to, but it does become second nature after a while. Alternatively, you can turn the e-pedal off altogether, and then the car will pretty much freewheel quite cleanly. Ultimately, however you like your regenerative braking, whether you like it very strong, moderate, or off altogether, the option is there. And the thing to remember is when you first get into an electric car, the regenerative braking could well be the thing that takes the most time to get used to. Essentially, brake regeneration, or regenerative charging as it's also known, is one of those things that feels a bit odd at first, but it really doesn't take very long to get used to. And if you were wondering, in an electric or hybrid car with heavy brake regeneration activated, the brake lights do come on when you lift off the throttle, even if you don't actually touch the brake pedal itself. For more electric car advice and reviews, go to drivingelectric.com.